So hi, my name is Jess. Um, I'm part, as part of my biology undergraduate um, degree. I did a dissertation on small mammal bait preference. Um, so meaning what baits, if any, um, different species within small mammals preferred. Um, I did this um, kind of within two studies. So the first one was involved small mammal trapping. Um, so I went out and put traps out and um, different baits in them um, to see what I caught and whether I caught more of one species with a certain bait than another species. Um, and the second one was looking at hedgehogs um, because at the moment not much is known um, about what attracts hedgehogs, um, especially a bait that will attract a hedgehog but not a cat. Um, so I was looking into that. Um, I use hedgehog tunnels for this, which um, involves putting bait in the middle of a tunnel um, with ink on the either side so that when an animal goes in, um, hopefully they'll eat the bait, get the ink on their paws and put paw prints on the paper that was laying on the bottom. Um, so it went quite well. Um, the results showed that there actually is a preference within small mammal species as to which bait they would prefer. Um, so I don't know, can you see the poster? I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> Um, so you can see that um, both the vole species um, actually preferred fresh fruit, whereas the mice preferred the seed. Um, and then on the hedgehog one, um, you can see that hedgehogs kind of did like all three of them. Um, they actually preferred hot dogs, um, but after that they preferred egg. And um, you can see that cats didn't actually go for the egg at all. So this could potentially be a good bait to use um, if you're trying to study hedgehogs. Um, um, were there any hurdles that you had to overcome um, in your study? Well, originally um, I was going to do it over more days than um, you know than I did. Um, but the reason the days got cut down is because Hurricane Bertha hit just as I was doing it, and um, the weather was absolutely terrible, and the traps were getting flooded, and the hay was getting wet that I put inside the traps. So I had to stop for a short period of time and then recontinue after Bertha had passed. Um, so that was yeah. Um, are there any future projections? So, what is there any further studies that could be used um, with this knowledge? Well, in this particular one, um, you could do some further study into more exotic baits like bacon, which has been used on other species, um, more exotic ones in more exotic places than the UK. Um, so that could be something you could do. Um, it's just, you know, it will help with quite a few sectors within biology because whether it's behaviour or conservation or disease and things like that, you're always going to need to capture um, small mammals because they are easy to, to keep, they don't have many needs. Um, so this would help you catch a target sample that you need and you know, possibly bring up the sample numbers, making your study more re you know, representative. And finally, how have you found um, the dissertation process overall? Um, I found it okay. Um, I planned. I'm a planner, so that, I think that helped out. I started early, um, and I did my dissertation, the actual research, over the summer, which helped, which has given me a lot more time to write it up. Um, so it's been okay, and the lecturers are really good here, and they really do give you help if you need it, and even if you don't need it and you just want to go for a chat, they're more than happy to sit and chat with you, um, which is a really good thing. And just one final statement for any students doing their dissertation next year. What is the one piece of advice you'd give? Um, I'd say don't panic, enjoy it.